Hi, I'm here today to show you how to make loading screens, but that will load for a certain level when prompted to. Here I am making um, materials for my scene that I have laid out so I can tell which area it is my um, character is going to. This will help me to make a loading screen pop up for that certain area. I chose to do colors that contrast each other so I did red, blue, and green. I will apply these colors to the scene in order to show which area it is going to. Here I'll show you how to make a collider into a trigger. This trigger will act as a doorway into another scene. It will also prompt for a loading screen. As you can see here, I'm taking the collider and expanding the boundaries so that my character will not walk into the object and make it unrealistic. I will do this for each of one of my colliders I was able to import this third person character by going onto the Unity Asset site and looking for Sample Asset Beta and downloading that program. I will then do this to all my scenes, modifying them so that they all connect in one way or another. Also, Make sure to always save the scene when you make changes before going on to another. So the first room will be green, the second room will be blue, and the third room will be red, and each cube corresponding with that level. I will then go on to Photoshop and show you how I made my loading screen real quick. I basically started it off by making an 11 by 8 canvas and filling in the background with a simple color. I then added text saying loading so the player knows that when this pops up the screen is loading and then I put a slight description of the background so that it is specific to that room and in this case I was talking about the water level and that what kind of creatures you'll find inside of it now once you have all your loading screens created you will grab them from wherever they are and put them into the assets folder it's very simple, you just drag and drop. Now I'm going to show you how to create your loading screens in the game using a GUI texture. Go to Create Empty and then select the name, change it to loading screens. Once that's done, go to the positioning 
and change that. Make sure that it is centered into the game. After that is done, go to your loading screens folder and apply a prefab. Then drag and drop that into that until it turns blue. This will help you put all of your stuff into one thing. After that, create three more empty objects. Name them accordingly to the scene and position them as well. As you can see, I'm just putting them in the middle for now, and then later I will reposition them. I will then drag and drop the game objects into the loading screen and change the names to a to the appropriate name. These will represent each loading screen that will pop up once a cube is hit and the trigger is set off. As you can see here, I apply the texture to the, the GUI texture, and then I will center it on my screen. I found that 0.5 on X and 0.5 on Y seems to do it. And I do this for each one, applying the different textures to different GUIs. And it's always good to make sure you have the right one. You can tell where your picture is positioned by going into the game window and looking. Also, make sure to load the scenes into the build settings. All you have to do for that is drag and drop the scene into there. If you do not do this beforehand, it will not work. Also, one thing that you can do that's very helpful is selecting all of your images that you have imported and checking their size. Depending on what screen size you have, will the outcome will look better or not. Here I go in and um, I start the scripting for this. I chose to use C Sharp because I was able to use Start Co Routine and um, Application Load Level with no problem. Each script is the same thing. Just change the names of the levels and of the variables. Make sure if you're doing on the grass level, it's called the grass level. If it's on the fire level, it's called the fire level. If it's on the water level, do the water level. And each one goes to the respecting levels or scenes. So grass of scene one, 
water was seen two, and fire was seen three. Okay, now that you have all your code written out, you will grab these and you will have to insert them into each of the triggers and make them go to their respective levels. So as you can see here, I'm clicking on the cubes and you can see there's nothing in them yet. I will add these scripts to the add component function. Also, if you're not using one, make sure to turn it off. As you can see there, the cube is grayed out and the other ones are checked. Go through each level and do this. I'll grab the code, put it in to where it needs to go, and then add the GUI texture to it. This will activate it and um, have the right loading screen pop up when that box is hit. And like I said, save your scene and then move on to the next scene. Okay, now that all that's done, you can start your scene, and there you go. It'll load up for every single one, and it'll load specifically to that level. So each green one goes to the grass level, and each blue one goes to the water level, while each red one goes to the fire level.